Hi there, this is Mike Gertis with the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living, and this is Wonder Dog Yoga. You know, there's been a lot of talk about this coronavirus and how we're supposed to be protecting ourselves, keeping a safe distance, washing our hands. I have to wash my hands all the time, it seems like. And of course, um, be careful, just be careful. And I understand that wearing masks or supposed to help, but you know, somehow I don't really think that this is gonna help at all. <sighs> I laugh, but you know what? This is serious business and we should be taking care of ourselves. <clears throat> because, <clears throat> you know, some people think that, <clears throat> uh, some people think that be because we're metaphysicians, we uh, should be impervious to any kind of disease or situation that occurs. And I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, if I'm all that spiritual, maybe I can walk across the walk across the water rather than take a bridge. I think this time of our lives in this given situation in the world, we need to use divine wisdom and practice some um, common sense. I know common sense sometimes lately seems to be rather uncommon. But I, I wanted to talk about some of us that are really unfortunate right now that have lost our jobs, there's a whole lot of people in the service industry right now that don't have any income. Now I understand there's a $2.1 trillion package that's gonna come through, but whether or not and when we're gonna get it, doesn't really help when you've gotta make your rent payment. Doesn't really help when you wanna to go to the grocery store. Doesn't really help when you've gotta make your car payment. So what do we do? Well. First of all, they say, don't panic. Well, yeah, we say, sorry, yoga. We say, don't panic. But a lot of us get into panic, anxiety, and fear. And the problem when we get into panic, anxiety, and fear, it overcomes us. And we find ourselves in ever worsening situations. We lose hope. We get despondent. We get depressed. I was reading an article lately that Lots of people, about a third of the population, especially in the medical community, are already depressed. And then they add this coronavirus situation and it's really getting extreme. I think what we really need to do is go back to source. Dr. Maxine has been talking about in her love notes about how we need to connect with source. And what we're talking about is spirit or the term God, if you'd like. But what we're really talking about is that divine presence within us there's always with us that guides us, directs us, protects us all the time. You know, in the 23rd Psalm, it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. That rod is our protector. That staff is a crutch that we can use to support ourselves. If we remember that, you know, that 23rd Psalm would be an excellent reading to meditate on. It gives us comfort. And recognize that our good comes from God alone, comes from Spirit alone. Yes, through a bunch of different channels, but we have to keep focused on the source and allow the source to express through us. Now, this could be a wonderful opportunity. Uh, one of my dear teachers, Dr. Tom Costa, who since passed away, and a mentor of mine. He said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, don't stop and buy a condo. Right now is a time for a lot of us to be stopping and buying condos because we're afraid. Stop that. What we need to do instead is see this as an opportunity to grow beyond where we're at. Perhaps to grow beyond the jobs we've had in the past. To grow beyond what we've known in the past. Maybe this is an opportunity for us to stretch our consciousness and accept a greater idea than we've ever known before. You know, wonderful things come from challenges. Growth. Growth comes from challenges. Just supposing you could do anything you wanted to do. If you had enough money, you could do anything you want to do, so money wasn't the factor. How would you like to be giving to the world? How would you like to be serving spirit? How would you like to be showing up in the world? 
Now, if it's doing exactly what you've been doing, great. But otherwise, what I challenge you to do, and I encourage you to do, is allow this time for Spirit to guide you in that direction. You could ask yourself, Spirit, what will you have me do? What will you have me do today that I can be a better service to you and my fellow man and woman? And then see what comes to mind. It may seem really weird. It may seem really strange. It may remember, you may, may remember an idea or a dream that you had years ago and you forgot about it. Perhaps this is your dharma. Perhaps this is the moment that Spirit has been waiting for, for you to come true. The truth is, we need to stop waiting for our dreams to come true and come true to our dreams. This, perhaps, is that opportunity. This is our opportunity to look for what we want to be experiencing and then do what is at hand to do. Wherever you are right now, to help you along that goal, maybe it's picking up a book, maybe it's getting online and doing some reading about something, recognize there's something you can do right here and right now to help you along that line. God never fails us. God never fails us. So, Yoga, would you like to join me in consciousness as we give a close and spiritual mind treatment, which is our term for affirmative prayer? And we'll close out this love note. So, I know, and I know that I know, that the presence of God is here, guiding and directing, expressing love, giving us the opportunity to express love in life in ways never thought of before. I know that I am, and each one of us is an expression of that spirit, expressing that greater idea of life, and we allow ourselves to be thankful for all things, yes, for all things, because they allow us to grow into what you will have us be. Ever greater realization of spirit is right here and right now. I give thanks for the opportunity to grow, and I do grow. I help more and more people every day. I help make this world a better place today. And so it's with a grateful heart that I release this word to the law of mind. I know it is so, and together we declare, and so it is. I want to thank you for tuning in, and um, know your love. <laughs>